Hey everybody, welcome back to the show this week. We are working on another section of the oak tree project. Now, if you remember last week, I showed you how we took our pattern and we blackened everything in. And this is the section that we put on the wall. This is ready to go. So now this week we're adding the left side of the arch and then we'll be, of course, adding the right and then the drawings are getting ready to start. So stick with us. We're gonna put this together for you and we'll see what it looks like then. And then we'll get the other side up and show you exactly how big this oak tree project really is. So if you like what we're teaching here on the RDRV channel, which is all about glass, if you like what we're teaching, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Lots of great things coming up. Okay, everybody. So welcome back. We've got this section of the frame ready to go now, and now we're gonna attach it. And I wanna make sure that once we put this on here, that we get it right, because it's imperative, because we want everything to line up. And it's almost out of my reach, but. Okay, so now you can kind of see So now you can see the windows kind of coming together. We still have the other side to put on over here. And then that'll give you an idea of just exactly what's going on. The reason we're putting this pattern on the wall, when you're drawing a window this size, especially of an oak tree or a live oak tree, the first thing that has to go on your pattern are the limbs that you want to see. So as we start to draw this, the first thing that'll be going on our pattern will be limbs. And those limbs are gonna come up through here, over and back out and get real small when they come off of this end right here. Also, we're gonna be putting the limbs in that we're gonna be overlaying the clumps of leaves. Now you're gonna notice that this window is not only gonna go horizontally, it's all the leaves and everything are going vertically. They're, we're gonna make this look as realistic as we possibly can We're putting in what we want to see as far as our tree limbs are going to go. But also in this window, we're going to be using several different profiles of lead. Now I want you to take a look at this. This is a 3 8 round H. And you know what it does is it makes perfect small oak tree branches. So we don't have to try and make it a piece of glass this size and then close it up with lead on each side, we can do this by changing profiles of our cane and give it the actually a better look than we could if we tried to cut narrow pieces of glass that are going to break anyway. Let's use different profiles to create different looks and dimension within your stained glass project. Okay, so welcome back everybody. Panel number six, coming or number five, coming across the top here. So we're about to get this put together. We have three more panels to attach to the wall, and then we can start drawing this bad boy. So we wanna show you in this video, at the end of this video, stay tuned, because we are gonna show you how to solder vertically. The reason we had to do that is because we were installing some memorial plaques at a church Dickerson AME down in Georgetown, South Carolina. So we'll show you that coming up. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're trying to teach you. I hope you're learning something. This is Ed, you know where we're at in the studio. So hi everybody, welcome back. We're down in Georgetown, South Carolina today working on Dickerson AME Church. Now, they have plaques on their windows that were probably installed about 35 or 40 years ago. And some of the plaques have come off of the windows. And we also, they uh, contracted us to prepare two brand new plaques for two families that don't even know that they're getting plaques on their family window this weekend. So we're excited about that. We're excited to come in and get, this, get these windows fixed up. 
even though, you know, because of the COVID, they haven't been in this building for quite a long time uh, for services, but it's all coming back. And when those two families walk in and see their parents' names on those windows, I can only imagine the feelings that'll go through this facility. So welcome to the sanctuary of Dickerson AME Church in Georgetown, South Carolina. And in, I hope you enjoy how we're repairing these windows today. So what we're doing is some of these plaques have come off, so we're actually coming in. We've cleaned them. We produced two new plaques for two windows that didn't have them. And the families just recently purchased the plaque and the window in memory of their family. You can use a stiff chisel. Put it under where you're going to solder. Turn your solder iron up. Just like that. Pull up, it'll start to run down. This will keep it from dripping onto your project uh -huh. and it'll make you a nice solder joint. So now that's connected and it won't come off. Yeah. So now that we've, we've flexed everything, we soldered the plaque back on, it's not going anywhere. So uh, what we're gonna do now is just to in ensure that these don't come off, the children playing in the church, pulling on them, whatever. Just run a bead of clear, non-yellowing silicone down each side. By doing that, you're ensuring that even though, even the, if the solder joints do expand and they pop loose, your plaques still aren't coming off. Thanks again. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. This is Ed at Dickerson AME Church in Georgetown, South Carolina. So just wanted to, you know, say thank you and thumbs up. <laughs>